y'all. Welcome to today's video. Today we are going to try to see if we can find a dupe for this brow palette from Unique. If you watched my video of my first impression of Unique makeup, y'all know I love this brow palette. I do not sell Unique and I am not getting paid for this. I don't promote it or anything like that. Um, there's actually only two products that I absolutely love from Unique. And they're getting rid of both of them. So, because of that, I'm going to try to find a dupe for this eyebrow palette. Because this brow palette is the bomb. Like, I'm obsessed. Like, look how good. I mean, anytime I do my eyebrows with any other brow product, I am just not as happy as I am when I use this palette. So basically, this is the Mood Struck Brow Obsessions Palette from Unique. Mine is in the shade Brunette, and this is what it looks like. It's got a wax over here, and then it's got your different, um, your two different browns. There's a highlight. Someone told me that this was actually to, like, erase if you make a mistake. I didn't know that. I thought it was a highlight, so I'm not sure. But, um, I don't ever really use these two. I only ever use the two colored, the two browns, and the wax. But y'all, obsessed. So, I want to find out if I can find something else that I love just as much to replace it with. Also, side note, I just filmed a video on finding a dupe for the Beachfront Bronzer in the shade Hermosa. So, they're also getting rid of this too. I mean... The two things I actually really like and they're getting rid of them. But anyways, I love the way this bronzer looks on me. So I actually just did a video on finding a dupe for this and I found one. You cannot even tell which side. Yes, I have two different bronzers on, but you can't even tell. So go check that out if you're interested in finding a dupe for their beachfront bronzer. Back to the brows. We're going to try to find a dupe for this brow palette. And I wanted to try to find a drugstore dupe. Because I don't think you should have to spend a crazy amount of money on doing your eyebrows. So, let me show you what I was able to find on Amazon. Because I we're not leaving the house right now. So, this is what I got. First up, I got the Maybelline Brow Drama Pro Palette. Mine is in the shade Deep Brown. And I have not tried any of these. So, let me open this up. So, it looks like it comes with... It looks like... Okay, just fall on out then. We're just going to take these out, but it comes with this little brow brush that's got two sides. It also comes with a little spoolie brush, so that's nice to kind of comb the brows out. So we've got a wax over here. We've got a brown and then a highlight. So just at first glance, if we're strictly just comparing the brown shades, I can already tell that this one is too light. The brow wax itself, so here's the brow wax, and here's the brow wax. I need three hands. The brow wax itself looks like a very similar color, but again, I feel like this one is just too light. I can already tell it's going to be too light for my brows, so I guess we'll test it and we'll just see because it might end up being right, so... I'm going to sadly remove my pretty brow that I got here. I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and take this one off. Okay. And side note, again, y'all, <laughs> I was trying to groom my eyebrows today. And this happened. That one's got two bald spots. Okay, anyways. I'm going to just touch up my around my brow with some foundation because this is typically what I would have. Okay, so brow is off. I look crazy, but we're just going to try it out. I'm going to use the same brush that I used in the other palette because I want everything else to be identical. I don't want to change anything else other than the palette that we're using. So typically how I use this palette is I go into the wax and then I go into the darker shade and I outline. Then I go into the darker shade only and fill in. And then I'll go into the lighter shade and kind of feather that into the beginning of the brow. So I've already got this side done with that palette. So we're gonna go in 
to the wax and then the brown, just like I do in the other one. Actually, I am impressed. This is looking actually more similar on the brow than it did in the pan. I will say that the brown itself without the wax is not as, I don't know, creamy? Is that the... It's not as smooth. Like, it's not really showing up as much. But overall, it's not terrible. Like, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. It is a little lighter. Okay, so... I feel like overall the color is just a teeny bit lighter and you do have to work a little harder to build it up but it might just be because the color is lighter but overall I mean I don't hate it like it did work really good and it is a pretty brow it's just not quite dark enough but the wax was pretty creamy I know a lot of times waxes can be too hard to work with and it was pretty creamy. Um, the shadow, the brown shadow, however, was, I don't know, a little hard to work with. But So Maybelline, very close, very close. Just, I wish it was just a little darker. I don't know, maybe they have a darker brown. This is deep brown, so I don't know if there's a shade darker. I don't want black. And I am cleaning my brush off um, in between all these too. So, I mean, I could live with that brow. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Okay, so the next one we're going to try is this one from Wet n Wild, and it's the Ultimate Brow Kit, and I got the shade Ash Brown. It does have a wax up here, but it's not a colored wax. It's a white or a clear wax, and then it's got a light brown and a dark brown, and it also comes with a little spoolie brush. On one end, it's got the brush. On the other end, it's got the spoolie, and you also get little tweezers. So, hey, nifty. So again, we're gonna go into the wax, and then I'll go into the dark brown to outline, then the dark brown to fill in, and then I'll feather the lighter color in to the front. Okay, that one is definitely darker. Hoping it's not too dark. I will say in this one, the shadow color is a lot easier to work with than with the Maybelline. Um, that one is very close. The colors are so similar. On the brow, you cannot tell. This is what they look like compared to each other. So even though the wax isn't tinted, when you start using it with the browns, it kind of makes it tinted. So, I mean, I would say that's a dupe. Yeah. That's definitely a dupe. Okay, so wet and wild for the win. Let's go on and see if any of these others is as close as this. But I don't know if we can get any closer. Like, that's pretty spot on. And also, I'd like to point out that eyebrows are not twins. They are sisters. They do not look the same. My eyebrows, they're never perfectly identical. They grow differently. They're shaped a little differently. You can try your best to make them even, but I feel like they're never perfect and that's okay. All right, let me wipe my brow off again. I'm gonna have no eyebrow hair left. How crazy do I look? I cannot believe I did this to my eyebrow. Oh my God, so sad. Next, I wanna go into this one. This is by L'Oreal Paris and it's the Brow Stylist Prep and Shape Pro Kit. And mine is in medium to dark. Open this puppy up. Okay, no. So this is what it looks like. Again, it comes with a little spoolie and brush and then your tweezers. But this color, y'all, that color is way off. Not even close to that dark brown. Like, I don't know. So you've got a wax on this side and then a shade on this side. But that just looks way too light. I'll try it out just because you never know. But I do like that it has a little mirror on it. So again, I'm going to go into my wax. Okay, yeah. And this wax is like impossible to work with. Like it is not even coming on my brush. It's like so hard. Oh, I feel like it's breaking my brush. Mm. Okay, it does look darker on the brow than it does in the pan. I just do not like this wax. 
Y'all, this wax is impossible. Like, do y'all see this? Like, when I try to get it, it just, like, it's not working. It's, like, dragging my eye brow. I don't even want to continue with this. For the sake of trying to save my eyebrow hairs, I am not about to sit here and do this. So, no, no, no. Don't like it. The wax is just, mm, mm You can see it's, like, not, I don't know how to describe it. It's too hard. Like, it's not getting on my brush. And then it's just, like, dragging against my eyebrow. Like, it hurts. No, I don't like that wax. It's too hard. We're not doing it. Like, you can see how it was dragging against my skin. Creating patches. No, no, no. Up next, we've got this one from NYX, and it's the Eyebrow Cake Powder, and mine is in the shade Brunette. It comes with a spoolie brush and a little angled brush, and then you've got your clear wax and then your two brown shades. So, this is the comparison. Looks pretty similar. Let's try it out and see. Okay, so yeah, this wax, you can already see is way creamier, like it just glides. That's the kind of wax I like. We'll dip into the wax and then the darker brown. Okay, now this one, the wax is almost too creamy. Like are y'all seeing how shiny it is? I don't, I don't want my eyebrows to be shiny, so I'm gonna try to take a little bit less of that wax. Oh yeah. See, my hairs look wet now. The wax is just too wet. I'm not taking any more wax. I'm just going into the powder because look at that, y'all. Look how waxy. Like a Ken doll. Okay, so as you can see, it's too light, number one. And number two, it's, I mean, just too shiny. I don't. I don't do the plastic Ken brows. Mm -mm. I mean, people want to look like Barbie, but we don't want to have no plastic eyebrows. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay, so this is our last one. This is from Rimmel London, and it's the Brow This Way. And mine's in the shade dark brown. Again, we've got the double-sided brush, and then we've got a spoolie brush. And this is what the color looks like. Um, oh, <laughs> there's a plastic thing over the wax. I couldn't see that at first. I'm like, what is going on? Y'all see that? Okay. So now y'all can see. So there's a wax, and then there's a shadow or like a powder. Um brown. This is the comparison. So I feel like that brown is the most similar. The wax is slightly darker, but the brown shade is very close. Hopefully this will be another dupe. Two dupes. I mean, two dupes. Be good. So again, I'm going to go into the wax first. Ooh. Okay, that wax is creamy. Hopefully it's not waxy creamy like that other one was. So far, I think it's working pretty good. Be a pro at doing my brows after this. Okay, I am loving this one. We might have saved the best for last and didn't know it. Okay, my only issue now is that where I normally would take my lighter color, um, my lighter brown over here, to kind of feather it in the beginning like an ombre look. I don't have a light brown in this one. There's only one brown. I believe every single, oh no, this one didn't have a light brown, but the whole thing is too light. All the other ones had a lighter brown. I'm just gonna try to have like a light hand and just try to blend it out the best I can. I definitely miss having my lighter shade to blend in the front. I feel like that one, I don't know. It worked, but not as good. I miss, I miss the lighter shade to kind of 
feather in the beginning. Um, and I keep playing with the beginning and I feel like it's making the brow like get out of, out of line a little bit. Like it's starting to get too big. So, no. I think our winner, hands down, is the Wet n Wild one. And what in the world? Like Wet n Wild, out of all these brands, L'Oreal, Maybelline, NYX, Rimmel, and Wet n Wild, I think is probably the cheapest out of all those. And theirs works the best. So, all right, y'all. Who would have thought that Wet n Wild would be a dupe for this? If you're sad that they're getting rid of this, and if you're like me and you only really use the wax and the browns, if you use the brunette shade, the Wet n Wild Ash Brown is a dupe. It really is. It works. I'm telling y'all, it works. I'm going to throw up the price up here again, but I think... I think this Moodstruck palette is in somewhere in like the 30 price range, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and this one I'm sure is way less than that. Like Wet n Wild is super affordable. All right. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If you have any questions or if you have any recommendations of a dupe that you have found for this palette, um, comment below and let me know. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.